Welcome to Rootstem, and in this video we are going to be painting this priest from the Blackstone Fortress set. Right, first off then, I've got the model of Spiritic Grave and Xenophil Highlight with Grace here. Uh, we've now got the white in front of us. I probably carry white, I've got a medium shade brush and we're going to put this pretty much all over where the cloak is. Don't worry too much if you spill it onto other stuff, we're going to correct that later. So what we're putting on next is some corn red and we're going to be putting that just on this little bit here which is in between because we're going to be following that up. I'm also going to put it on very carefully on the back here so going in, we haven't got to be too careful because we are going to be painting that with gold and there you go and oh yes inside of these again we're going to be painting the edges with an alternative color so don't worry too much if you do get it on the edge make sure your paint's nice and thin not too thin it's the base paint after all and uh, crack on and now i'm going to go back because what i should have done is done this first get some rhinox hide and paint the book and satchels You'll need two finished coats of this. Again, just be very careful not to touch your nice wet robe. You've already gone and done. Now, while I've got the red, this is why I said you should do the brown first, the red and the brown together, I'm just kind of doing a bit of a mix. And that's going to be part of the book. So I'm just going to paint it on, not including any sort of recess. I'm trying to give it like a red-ish, kind of that encyclopedia, if any of you guys are young enough to remember those books. An encyclopedia style on the box itself. So, now cutting to some thinned Evil Sun Scarlet. Been a little bit more than normal. And I'm just going to use it to highlight the belly red. And of course we're going to highlight this robe as well. Don't forget that when you thin your paint, it will dry lighter, sorry darker, when you put it on. Sometimes if you put it on and you're like, oh my god there's too much, don't worry, it will dry. If you want to put a second coat on, please do. That's what the book looks like if you can see. I'm going to put a little bit of this as a corner highlight on there and this I'm gonna kind of randomly go onto those raised areas and pick them out A little bit of thinned down Mon Frank Brown now. We're going to just paint in the satchel bag. Leaving the recesses. So I'm hitting majority of this figure now with Retributor Armor. This one shouldn't actually take that long. I'm mainly doing these bits. So I'm going to put some gold on so you know where to go. 
all of this around there under the edges of the books the sensor what else it's quite a bit actually on this particular figure the paint up gold it's mainly like i say but it is mainly going to be you know you got his hat all of that all the uh edging that's going to be gold on that one so make sure you got a nice good brush with a good thin tip and uh Crack on, we'll come back for some more stuff. So, let's give that a little book. Um, I've gone over Grace here, and I've gone over little bits like the book um, that I'm wanting to do. Uh, I've just corrected little bits on his face, and the purity seals, in fact, that one needs a little bit of a touch up. There we go. I've gone over the purity seals again to make sure that they've got the Grace here on. I've then mixed you Shabti Bone and Grace here together. Um, a little bit more Yushabti Bone than Grace here, but I wanted a very light, sort of creamy grey in this sort of edge bit here. Uh, that's going to go against the cloak, because what we're going to do next, we are going to have to use a couple of different brushes for this, because it's going to depend on where I'm painting, but I'm going to be putting Agrax Surf Shade, a little water down with some, uh, uh, yeah, with some that stuff. I'll put it on the screen. And <laughs> it's going to be a little bit watered down, but we're going to put Agrax Surf Shade all over everything that we've done, including the book pages. Um, and of course, the satchel, which I've put a bit of you have to bone in the middle of that there as well. So that is going to be just covered now with Agrax Surf Shade, and that's going to give us a lot of a shade for this particular, for this. Now, for this step, let's get rid of the old paints. I'm going to be doing different proportion sizes so um, for the book pages we're going to do one part agrax and about three parts or two parts lamy medium because i just want a slight hint on the book pages i don't want it to be saturated i just want that sort of edge of its might be a little bit older than what it's giving out. Don't worry too much if you go on to anything else. So that's for the book pages. Now we've got our two parts. I'm going to put a bit more agraps in there. And this is going to be for this section here for the reds. Um, use a smaller brush if you can, and of course the purity seals. Uh, but yeah, use a, a smaller brush if you can just to try and get maximum control i'm going to use an old oh, i've got some odd paint in that and just make sure none of that gets on the way and then when you've done all that i want you to use pure agrax earth shade on the gold and the browns So while we're waiting for the Agrax Earth Shade to dry, let's get some silver out and ready. And we're going to paint the handle. And I'm actually going to paint because there's a lot of mechanical bits on that. All of that skull and all of that gun is also going to be painted in silver details. And next up, get some Screaming Bell and paint the hand in there. So his other hand is actually robotic. Paint that. Put some screaming bell, a bit like a different type of brass. Make sure it's my screaming bell quite thick. So I'm just gonna water it down, making sure it flows nice and small. <laughs> Of course, now everyone's favourite, no one oil. So on the silver and the screaming bell pieces, which makes it easier because it's all on the hand there. Just put that all over. And the same for this, on this side. Onto your contrast paints now.
dark off we're going to be putting that on the flesh make sure that you don't go on to with this hand you don't go on to any of the book pages and of course you don't go on to the cloth because it is quite bright you can regardless of what games workshop tell you you can actually thin this paint down if you need it to flow better and just make sure that you do his face now on his face, I have let a bit of the Agwak Surf shade run into the eyes. That's simply because it'll give it a darker perspective. You can do that or you don't have to. It's completely up to you. Now we're moving on to Contrast Black Templar. Uh, it was one of my least favorite. I'm still not keen on it, but just to do the boots, it's quick and easy. Because when I do the basing properly, the boots will probably be muddy. So I don't want to spend too much time on them because I'm kind of covering it up. And do the piping. And this collar and then tidy you know, this up and do the piping down here as well. So here we are, to this current stage at the moment. Not looking bad, we're letting everything dry. We're gonna put some red into the purity seals. And let's get um, some more, let's get some dry brushing and some highlighting done on some of the other areas. But yeah, red into the purity seals and then we'll show you what's next. So while you've got the Evil Sun Scarlet out, because I've just done the purity seals, we'll get a bit of it and we're just gonna reinforce this red that we've already let go. There we go. Not everywhere, little bits. Just bring it back up in sections to what it was like before. Make sure your paint's nice and thin. Not grabbing everything, we're just grabbing bits of it. It's actually red. So now we're going to use two different types of highlighting the silver. The first one is going to be an aqua compound. We're going to dry brush, not heavy dry brushing, but at least a little bit of dry brush. We're going to dry brush onto the bigger, flatter areas that you can get to. So for example, I would dry brush it onto his mace and a bit of his hand. So all that can be dry brushed it up. Even now, I don't know if you're picking that up on camera, but I can see that that's change a dry brush the weapon but make sure you hold it make sure you hold that weapon i've also put a little bit of uh, gracia back into the eye socket you want to take care of your, um, of your dry brushes make sure you wash them afterwards it was master's brush show myself now for the gold, we're still going to be using Necron Compound, just gently caress it across. Make sure you're not catching any of that red. And that will give a nice silver edge to the silver parts. Now, the little tiny silver parts and little tiny gold parts, I'm not going to dry brush because I can't get to them. It's too fiddly, so we're just going to use some store more silver wet palette in hand all we're gonna do I'm gonna use my really thin brush and I'm just gonna do a little bit of edge highlighting this can be a very funny color so if you've got a ball bearing in there it might be a better idea mine's not really coming through but if you just touch up some of the silver pieces bit on edge you can even go back over some of what you've already done on other places but we're also going to do it on the book corners Wicked. that's 
just ruined my whole entire video, folks. So I've actually done my eyes, put some teeth in the mouth. If you want to know how to do eyes, have a look at my painting faces video. Uh, because I hate trying to show it on camera, it never goes right. So <laughs> now we're going to have to do some text on here. Now in previous videos I've done, um, I use flesh wash, but as pointed out to me, not everyone will get access to it. It's a very old paint. So let's do an alternative. So the alternative I've come up with is Wildwood with a little tiny bit of technical contrast paint in a wet palette simply because i want a bit of water now this using a very thin line replicates very similar effects as the flesh wash so i've got the brush i've got a very very thin line towards the edge there i'm just gonna once i touch the paper there yeah. and all i'm doing is like little tiny scratch like lines and that basically makes it look like something is written on the page. You can even put a symbol on if you wanted. I'm not going to. Like breaking the lines up, some dots and dashes. And I'll be honest, I'm going to consider that done. That doesn't look too bad. I've uh, put some gollum and glaze, if you've got it, on the actual weapon. And uh, that's just to basically try and give it a uh, bit of a shine. And I quite like focusing. Quite like the book and how that's actually come out. But that wasn't too bad, wasn't too difficult to do. Right. I think we need to crack on with the next model. So thank you very much for watching guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button if you want to see more. I'm gonna go and clean my brushes. And then I'm gonna start on the next model, which is gonna be Recruit. Um, basically, I'm gonna be doing him, uh, he's gonna be mainly contrast. And he will have, so I think some of his armor pieces, I'm gonna go for a yellow color and I might even do like a yellow contrast with another wash over the top just to try and give it an orangey feel just to try and make it look like the tower on the plates rather than anything else right well thanks very much for watching guys we'll see you next time